Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and experience. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi Francis, and stay tuned to the lesson. And to the goals of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, we'll have achieved the following goals. One, define the universal indicator, draw the pH scale, and we'll also be able to state the use of the pH scale and its advantages. So, what are the goals or what is an indicator? An indicator, a universal indicator, is a mixture of many different indicators which gives different colors at different pH values of the entire scale. Once again, what is an indicator? A universal indicator is a mixture of many different colors which uh, gives different colors at different pH values at the entire pH scale. So it is part of an indicator. So we have talked of the pH scale. It is defined as the measure of hydrogen ion concentration, a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. The pH scale usually ranges from 0 to 14, as shown here. 7 is neutral, and therefore it stands as our point of reference when we want to determine whether a substance is a called basic using the pH scale together with universal indicator. Universal indicator comes with the pH scale. They can't be used inseparably. So neutral 7, from 7 on to the left, the strength of acidity increases. So 4, 5, 6, these are weak acids, while a 0, 1, 2, 3 are very strong acidic substances. From neutral 7 to the light, the acidity, sorry, the basic nature or alkaline nature of a substance increases. Therefore, 8, 9, 10 are weak alkaline substances, while 11, 12, 13, 14, these are strong alkaline substances. So, the pH scale may come in various uh, charts. It may be secure. Uh, prob probably uh, the good thing is to understand the range of colors and the numbers as they range with the colors from 1 to 14. So what are the advantages of using universal indicator? A universal indicator will show the degree of intensity of an acid or a base. So it can tell whether a substance is acidic or basic and more so it can give you whether this substance is a strong acid or a weak acid, a strong base or a weak base. Therefore it is important for us to know where these substances range using their pH scale. So uh, how do we use the universal indicator? Add a few drops to the solution whose pH is to be measured. When you add the few drops, the color may change as illustrated by the test tubes that we have there. We have a range of different colors. Then you compare the color of the resulting solution to the colors in the pH chart. The color that coincides with the color on the pH is the pH value of the solution. So it is important for you to notice that we can't use universal indicator and universal uh, the, pH skate, uh, pH, the pH chart inseparably. So let's look at the test of this lesson. Did we get to understand what is a strong and weak acid? So identify a strong and weak acid or base from the rest of the substances labeled A, B, C, and D, B. So we have substance A with pH value of 6.5. We have substance B with pH value of 11. And substance C with pH value of 2. So, and we also have D, which has a pH value of 8. So, identify which is a strong, weak, acid, or base. So, state the advantage of using the, advanso, uh, the universal indicator over commercial indicators. When you answer these two questions, you'll be good to go. You can refer this in Secondary Chemistry Student Book 1, or give us 
text through the numbers on your screen or visit our YouTube page and Facebook page at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, your tutor, Mr. Mongi, please be tuned for more lessons to come.